very brief video because I'm on my bike. I have just cycled from Weston, where I live, to Wick St Lawrence, well, I'm skirting it, and along this awful road, but on the pavement side of it. Um, uh, which I'm glad I've done now because it looks like all that road's going to be carved up and um, resurfaced, maybe a new path. They might take the path away. So this is Congressbury and there you can see a bit of the old platform there. Look, it's all hidden by the bushes now because it takes sort of volunteers to keep it clear so you can see the platforms and everything. Uh, there's a, I have done it all before on older videos, it's been done. Um, I've been along here with Daisy, I believe I took her this far. I think I took her quite a long way actually. But the platform's in behind there. You can see the wall. I don't know if any of it shows anymore because it's very, very overgrown. But it is still there. See, Look, if I get up close, you can see the platform. I'm off that awful um, <clears throat> fast road now. There's a sign for Congress through there, look. That's the platform would be down there, you see. There's a seat. Somebody coming on a mobility scooter. Basically, I'll just do a little bit of videoing along here. There's plenty of places where I can take photos. This is the strawberry line everyone, comes from Yatton, originally from Clevedon, carrying the strawberries from Cheddar. Goes all the way to Cheddar, more or less. Um, yeah, it does actually, but you do have to negotiate some roads when you get to Axbridge for a bit. Axbridge has still got an old building that was a, a railway station. Um, you can't really see much evidence of the where the railway station was in Cheddar anymore. Um, stop. Let me turn back. Just seen a image of a church down there. There. Just zoom into that. That's Congressbury Church. The other one I took a photo of earlier was Yatton. <laughs> Yatton's very dif distinguished and weird. There's lots of walks around here, by the way. Lots of walks. <coughs> I will stop for a drink eventually. It should, in theory, be quieter now, uh, now that the kids are back at school and more and more people are going back to work if they've got a job. Some people are still furloughed. Some people haven't got jobs to go back to. That's sort of just a few mention of world events. Covid very, is very much with us. People are still dying. People are still having lockdowns. Um, it's more regional now, have the powers to do it. Police have been given more powers this now as well to find people on the spot if they don't obey the rules, which is um, 
You can't have more than six of you. Um, at a party or in a group. Some people come in. Just turn off a minute. A few people out. I'm going to stop in a minute and have a look round. Western Hill Fort over there. Hiya! All these people on powered bikes. I think they are. They look like they are. They're powering along anyway. There's a hill fort behind me, Cadbury's Hill Fort. Over there we got familiar landmarks coming into view now with Roe Barrow Warren because we've got Winscombe's, um, the Mendip Hills in front of me. I've recently been doing a lot about Bamwell. Well, not loads, just uh, because of the hill fort that they've got. Just wanted to find out a bit about it. Next bench I'm stopping for a break. I've, I have videoed this before by the way. I've walked it as well along here. When I took, when I went over to Banwell, I went on the bus not Banwell, to um, Congressbury and went and explored the Cadbury Hill Fort which was open to the public no building, nobody building on that one Banwell's lost somebody sold it off years ago it's being parceled off the locals and visitors no access Although you can view if you feel like buying a property for about 45,000. Not a property, a plot of land. Yep. Parceled up. Coloured poles indicating plots of land. Registered with the land registry. Just flogged off like that. place of huge historical, archaeological and geological heritage. Right, I'm going to stop here. Yeah, over there you've got Cadbury's. Down in the Dipmore, going over more of that way behind the tree. Over there you've got um, The Mendip Hills, Bamwell will be sort of over there somewhere. It, it's not a very prominent looking fort from a distance, but when you're actually on the hill fort, you can see quite a this um a big carboniferous. It's a huge carboniferous plateau, but it blends in very well with the rest of the hills. So it's not very obvious till you get on it. Right, over now. right, a little bit um, more videoing. I've had a picnic, had water, chocolate, cheese and tomato. Quite a few people, well, a few people have gone by, not quite a few. Just like normal in the normal days before Covid. That sort of, you always get more at weekends, but this is a Thursday. Thursday the 10th of September 2020. Kids are back at school. The virus is still 
with us, very much so, apparently. And there's lots of lockdowns going on. There's uh, people dying of it. The best thing I reckon you can do is all... Well, people have been doing it. Getting out, walking, doing exercise. But of course, you know, what happens, everyone... I never came out here much during the lockdown. I did a little bit at the other end, near Cheddar End. Um, Axbr uh, um, yeah, Axbridge, Twinscombe. I did that little stretch and then I, I went to Puxton. Uh, I didn't do this bit because I thought to myself there's going to be an awful lot of people about and I think there was a lot of people with their kids. Everyone was, everyone was off work. Everyone was off school. There was also heat waves and hot weather. Um, it's just going to... Yeah, I don't like um, videoing when I'm cycling. It puts pressure in places I don't want it to. It's because I'm having to balance and hold the handlebars with one hand, steer with one hand, brake with one hand. So the distribution of weight changes. Somebody coming. Right, over and out for a minute. A short clip. See that hill there? That's Banwell Hill Fort, that part. Over there we've got Banwell Church, which I was in a couple of days ago. And up there you've got Banwell Hill, where the Beardstone is. And the, and the wood with the tower. The tower is somewhere in there. There it is. I just point, I can just see the top of the tower in Banwell Hill Wood, which isn't open to the public for climbing yet, neither of the caves, but the stone can be seen. Then you go across that gap, and there we have Banwell Hill Fort, which I've been on. On the top, it's a big oval type plain or plateau. You can see it's very flat. And that's what has been being sold off. All the woods surrounding it are being sold off everyone. Now down here we've got a lot of activity going on because this is to do with Hinkley Point laying underground electric cables with the view to removing big tall ground pylons and I'm going to be going on the strawberry line in a minute and I'll be heading over that way a bit to see Banwell Hill Fort from the other side from the Winscombe side I should be cycling back that way eventually coming back further along at Christon and Canada Coombe area and the plantation so I've got quite a lot to do, but I'm enjoying it. I've had a bit of lunch. Um, I haven't brought loads like I normally do, so I bet I'll be hungry now. I thought I'd do a little video. I'm on a bridge here. Over the other side of the bridge are sewage works. Um, also over there, we've got Cabri Hill Fort right over there. Right in the distance over there, you've got Yatton Church. Which is right over there. It's a funny shaped church with a very large sort of tower shaped tower on the top. Congressbury Church has got a spire. So anyway, that'll do for now. Over and out.